Yannick Sinner versus Thomas Mahach is the first semi-final for the Shanghai Masters for 2024. Both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Mahach entered the tournament as the number 30 seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on David for Kina, and after surviving the second set, would get through in three. One, six, seven, six, six, four. In the third round, he'd take on Vukic, the qualifier, who'd just beaten Kasper Ruud, which is no problem getting through in straights. Six, four, six, two. In the fourth round, he'd take on Tommy Paul, number 11 seed, who was lucky to get through his last match against Tabillo. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Mahach would fight back to win in three. Three, six, six, four, six, three, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mahach would take on the number three, Alcaraz, who has been on a massive streak, including winning Beijing last week. And after a close second set, Mahach would upset Alcaraz in straights. Seven, six, seven, five, to advance to the semifinals. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Daniel, but this was no problem getting through in straights. Six, one, six, four. In the third round, he'd take on Echeverry, the number 31 seed. And this was tough. After losing the first set, Sinner would fight back to win. Six, seven, six, four, six, two. In the fourth round, he'd take on Shelton, the 14th seed, a man that had beaten him in Shanghai this time last year in the same round. And this was close. Both guys holding serve for the majority of the match, but Sinner getting through in straights. Six, four, seven, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Medvedev, the number five seed, a man that he'd beaten so many times this year, including the US Open on hard courts a couple of months ago. But unfortunately, Medvedev was a little bit down and a little bit sore with a shoulder, allowing Sinner to get the easy win. Six, one, six, four, to advance to the semifinals. These guys have only played the one time before. That was actually in Miami this year in the quarterfinals with Sinner getting the straight sets win on that day. But after winning his last match against Alcaraz, Mahatch is going to be full of confidence to really try and push Sinner and get another massive upset win this season. So taking a look at the shot quality, thanks to Tennis Insights, starting with the serve, no surprise there. Sinner with an 8.8, which is his tournament average, compared to a 7.7 .7 for Mahatch. On the return of serve, Sinner with a 7.9, just ahead of Mahatch with a 7.2. Forehands also favor Sinner with a 9.2, but Mahatch with a 9.1 on the forehands. That's huge. He's going to have to use that against Sinner if he's going to be any chance of winning this match. And then an 8.2 on the backhand from Sinner, compared to a 7.4 for Mahatch. So the backhand of Mahatch, he's going to have to avoid hitting those if he's going to be any chance of beating Sinner. Of course, that forehand is going to be a weapon. and also has to really serve well if he's going to get another upset at this event. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. What a great matchup and great to see Mahatch playing so positively and it's going to be really interesting to see how Sinner can combat that, but I have to go with Sinner in this one in straight sets. I reckon it might be a close straight sets, but instead of the result that Mahatch had against Elkrez, it might be Sinner's chance to kind of win the tie breaks. I reckon Mahatch is going to really make a, make a match of this though, but I think Sinner gets it done in straights. To make the final, let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.